the Philippine Army through its mechanized infantry armored division aspires to have more reputable armor which packs enough firepower that pulverizes targets as a complementary force that joins along with the ground infantry troops in conducting a military operation. It is well known that this division already obtains a handful of armored personnel carriers in its infantry especially with the ones fitted with sophisticated weaponry, it may be said that having these assets is not enough, opting for dedicated armor with higher caliber needed for operations that need the extra firepower. There are two categories for the Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project which are notably the tracked light tanks and the wheeled tank destroyers which are both being considered for purchase with interesting companies participated in both of these categories under the single project. This discussion only covers the tracked light tank portion of the acquisition process whilst the discussion for the wheeled tank destroyer category will be provided in a separate video. It is well known for the several years that the Philippine Army is in itself opting for newer platforms especially with regards to light tanks that the service branch is opting for procurement, coming with an idea with increased firepower than the existing infantry fighting vehicles that the service branch is currently obtaining. The plans of purchasing light tanks are one of the efforts of the Philippine Army in modernizing further its organization as part of its plans and organizational timeline known as the Philippine Army Transformation Roadmap 2028 that makes it a fully capable land force which augments its fellow service branches within the armed forces of the Philippines. It is worth mentioning the history of the Philippine Army's Mechanized Infantry Armored Division where it operates a range of tanks back then such as the Renault FT tank during the Commonwealth period, M41 Walker Bulldog tank in the 1950s and on the recent history, the FV-101 Scorpion light tank which is still in service. Currently, the Mechanized Infantry Armored Division, aside from the FV-101 light tank consists primarily of armored personnel carriers APCs, which comes in numbers in its fleet. The armored personnel carrier fleet consists of GK and Simbo wheeled vehicles which were produced by a manufacturer that is now part of Bay Systems based in the United Kingdom, V-150 Cadillac Gauge Commando which complements the GK and Simba as both shares the attribute of being a wheeled vehicle, and the M-113 armored personnel carriers with several units within the Philippine Army upgraded with latest remote-controlled weaponry such as the ORCWS or Overhead Remote Controlled Weapon System courtesy of Elbert Systems itself. While most of these armored vehicles saw action multiple times in conflicts like the Zamboanga siege that started on September 9, 2013, which ended almost a month later on September 27, and the ever-devastating Marawi siege that started in May 23, 2017, where it lasted for almost five months, ended in the 23rd of October the same year. These conflicts are an influencing factor for purchasing light tanks wherein obtaining them may provide a decisive factor in eliminating the targets on a shorter period, especially given that urban combat requires having such tools that can blast enemy fortifications in the middle of combat while providing the protection and support to the ground troops that augments with it which have come together to achieve the objective of the whole duration of the conflict. This is the Kaplan Harry Mauhitam tank in which Indonesia and Turkey are developing. It was the darling of the crowd at one point until there is something that involves a component which makes it a non-preferable candidate. Known in Austria as the Ulan, in the United Kingdom as the Ajax, and in Spain as the Pizarro, the ASCOD in itself is a family of track-based armored vehicles which is originally joint developed by both Spain's General Dynamics Santa Barbara Sistemas and Austria's Stier Daimler Push Spezialfahrzeug and Coag, hence its name referring to the countries that both of the companies were based. At the current date both of these companies are under the helm of US-based General Dynamics Defense Company, through its European arm, known as General Dynamics European Land Systems GDELS, which is currently based in Madrid, Spain. The first prototype of the ASCOD was developed and completed in 1990 wherein the Austrians provided the gun turrets of the tracked vehicle while the Spanish dealing with the system's integration and assembly of components. Two prototypes were built through the mid-1990s with the last one provided the basis for the Spanish Pizarro variant of this type of armored vehicle. 
It was in the year 1996 that orders started pouring in when the Spanish armed forces opted for the procurement of the Pizarro infantry fighting vehicles, coming at an order of 123 units of such a vehicle in infantry fighting vehicle composition plus 23 more where it was configured for command and control. It is followed by another order of 106 more vehicles in its infantry fighting vehicle composition plus 37 support vehicles for the Spanish armed forces, 80 more units purchased in 2008 with 112 human vehicles for Austria followed thereafter. Following Spain and Austria which are the two originators in the development of this project, the United Kingdom through the General Dynamics arm in the country helped develop its own infantry fighting vehicle which is itself derived from the ASCOD. This is Scout SV, specialist vehicle, which later on will be known more with its current name Ajax. The British Ajax is known to be an improvement over the original ASCOD design which it incorporates several improvements that comes with it where the subcomponents that consist the British variant of the ASCOD comprises of a sophisticated array of armaments and accessories which will be discussed thoroughly as we get along this article. There are recent developments regarding the latest iterations of the ASCOD now getting introduced such as the ASCOD medium main battle tank where it was unveiled by General Dynamics European Land Systems GDELS in Eurosatory 2018 which was held in Paris, France. First introduced and disclosed for the public to see by General Dynamics European Land Systems in the French Defence Expedition Eurosatory 2018, the 42-ton ASCOD medium main battle tank is the company's recent addition of a variant which consists the larger ASCOD family of armoured vehicles. Its weight, as provided herein is heavier than its infantry fighting vehicles which come at no surprise given that such an armoured vehicle is utilised for increased combative firepower over the personnel fighting capable ones wherein a medium tank is keen to provide support in pulverising targets that are fortified in buildings alongside the fighting ground troops which it is additionally augmented by both artillery and air support. Its main weapon is the HITFACT 120mm turret provided by the Italian company Leonardo Defense Systems. It is worth taking note that it is through this company that the armed forces of the Philippines obtain a handful of military assets such as the Leonardo or 109 light attack helicopters of the Philippine Air Force, the or 159 anti-submarine helicopter for the Philippine Navy and also the 76mm OTO Malara guns fitted on board its key warships. This being said, it will be through this company once again, along with GDELS that the Philippines will have the chance to obtain this unit once proceed as it obtains the privileges of having a sale of such product without any arms export restrictions which render the CMI cockerel-based main weapons out of the picture. Let us take note in this manner that the Philippine Army is seeking for a light tank with a 105mm turret in which Leonardo also having a HITFACT turret for such type of caliber, a thing that other tanks such as the FNS SPT Pindad Kaplan obtained through the sanctioned CMI Cockerel produced gun which may have provided the inputs in terms of the size of the gun caliber as part of the requirement. Both of these products are proponents for this project of the Philippine Army. This product is by far the most preferred armored platform under this Philippine Army project due to the fact that the other proponents are either having the products fitted by a subcomponent which is sanctioned by a certain Belgian province such as the CMI defense with its cockerel gun at a shortcomings on its eligibility regarding the number of active users in service as a measurement for a product to qualify, something that we already mentioned so as to why the Kaplan light tank gets less of a consideration. Aside from the gun turret and the tonnage that this medium tank have, the details is just as similar to the specifications for the GDELS ASCOD2 provided through this write-up, only that it also comes with the improved infantry fighting vehicle capability with weapons fit provided by Elbert, just as provided. Additional details regarding the light medium tank variant of the GDELS ASCOD2 will be listed as follows. Main gun, 105 120ths of a millimeter Leonardo Defense Systems HITFACT gun turret. Auxiliary gun, 7.62 mm gun caliber type still unspecified. 
Throughout the history of the mechanized infantry division, which is now called the armored division, it obtains a handful of light tanks which it provides armored protection for the troops and crew on board that ensures the survivability while getting into combat and get prepared on achieving an objective which at usual cases involves eliminating a key target that poses danger to the country, its sovereignty and the safety of its citizenry. It is by this division that the Philippine Army aspires to have its own light tank wherein it aims to augment its fleet of armored personnel carrier of various types, wheeled and tracked ones with the aims of providing necessary support of firepower especially when it comes in companion with the foot soldiers on the ground. While there are upgrades incorporated in several of these armored personnel carriers, its firepower at some circumstances is still insufficient especially on the lessons learned in recent conflicts that involved urban combat like those in Marawi City two years ago in 2017. With the light tank acquisition project of the Philippine Army, it attains to have it better for such a platform to be procured where it benefits the troops in both armor and weaponry it possesses that provides an overall factor in a battle. At once, a certain light tank developed by both Turkey and Indonesia was once considered, only to face potential disqualification which points to two factors regarding its eligibility in active operations of at least two countries and its subcomponents subject on arms sales restrictions imposed by a certain province that such company situated. This renders this tank, the ASCODM MBT to be seen as a preferred tank option wherein this candidate may have a chance especially with the warming of relations between the Philippines and Spain in which its manufacturer's headquarters is currently situated. That being said, it is nice to see this platform, based on a design developed three to four decades ago see in action within the service branch if this is to be considered by the end user after its specifications and prerequisites are satisfied. What remains to be seen now as to whether this option gets through or not, and as well to witness an ever-resurgence of the Philippine Army's armored division to greater heights by having such platform aiding them to the purpose and the mandated duties and responsibilities within the organization.